Welcome to the Template Driven Extraction Tutorial from MarkLogic University. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to download and install MarkLogic. Download the sample data and follow installation instructions by going to github.com slash marklogicuniversity slash marklogic9. Download an unarchive or clone the repository. Go to the marklogic9 repository directory then go to the Data Integration subdirectory. Under Data Integration, go to TDE and follow the README file for instructions on setting up your environment and next steps to follow. In this tutorial, you will learn what is template-driven extraction, why have template-driven extraction, and what are templates and where are they stored. Template-driven extraction, abbreviated as TDE, generates row and triple indexes from documents. Templates control what input data from MarkLogic documents, any transformations to apply to that data, and the final data projections to become indexed data. A relational lens on your MarkLogic data helps SQL savvy users create reports and use visualization tools that communicate using SQL. A semantic lens is useful when content contains data that could be best expressed and queried as triples using Sparkle. For example, relating document contents to other documents. TDE never changes your documents, nor is there any copying or duplication of your content. TDE allows modeling of entities as rich documents with a flexible hierarchical structure. Define a SQL view over data in documents. This defines a mapping to rows in the view and populates MarkLogic's row index. Query using SQL from MarkLogic or as an ODBC data source. Or index data as triples if semantics expresses your data better. Or project a view from MarkLogic lexicons. You can view your document's data through either or all of these lenses without touching your documents. No ETL required. Query rows and triples with MarkLogic's Optic API. TDE templates are documents created in JSON or XML. A SQL template includes a view definition created by defining what is a SQL row and defining the SQL columns. You also create a schema name and a view name. TDE templates can also create a semantic lens to your document content. These templates define many triple projections in a single template and map different parts of documents to semantic subjects, predicates, and objects in MarkLogic's triple index. Template documents are loaded to the MarkLogic schema database that's configured for your content database. They're loaded just like any other MarkLogic document. You can use the REST, Java, Node.js client APIs, MarkLogic Content Pump, or the built-in query languages XQuery and JavaScript. Templates are applied to appropriate document content when the content is loaded and indexed. The extraction can also occur during content re-indexing for data that was already in the database before the templates were loaded. Entries to MarkLogic's triple or row index are the result of the template-driven extraction. The triples index needs to be enabled for the content database. Since the data is extracted and indexed, there's no need to also store the indexed data separately. MarkLogic's features safely persist the indexes the same as any other indexed data. Let's take a look at creating and using template-driven extraction. Remember, you can follow along by downloading the example data in Query Console Workspace from github.com slash MarkLogic University slash MarkLogic9 slash data integration slash TDE dash SQL dash optic. We have already loaded content into our database. These documents contain European football player and team data. We're going to add a relational lens to this data by creating a template for the player data and then inserting the template into MarkLogic. This is an example of one of the player documents. Notice the team ID. 
the team ID will correspond to an ID number in one of the team documents. The template can be created using JSON or XML. In this example, we're using JSON to create the template. Context defines the lookup node in the JSON or XML tree used for template activation and data extraction. Any path expression occurring in template vars, rows, or triples parts of the template are relative to the context. Rows define a schema name, a view name, and a sequence of columns. The schema name is the unique schema name to which this view belongs. The view name represents a target view. Multiple templates can reference the same target view. Columns define a name for each column, the scalar data type, and a val property or XML element. The val node represents, in its simplest form, a path expression to the XML element or JSON property from which to extract the data. It could also contain more complex expressions, such as conditional expressions or arithmetic functions. This example demonstrates a best practice sequence of events. After defining a template, call tde.validate to verify the template. Next, call tde.nodeDataExtract on some test documents. Now you know the template is valid and it does what is required. Finally, call tde.templateInsert to insert the template into the schema database defined by your content database. This function validates the template before inserting it into the schema database. If we wanted to change the template, tde.templateInsert knows to do an update rather than attempt to validate, which would fail since the new version would be incompatible with the previous version. The template has been loaded into the schema database configured for this content database and the data has been extracted to the row index. The result was the result of the TDE node data extract on two documents that were in our database. The template is working and extracting out the data that we expect. Changing to the schema's database, we can see the template has been inserted into this database. With our documents loaded and template created, we can now query our data using the Power Mark Logic search. In this example, we're using SQL to query football player names, positions, and nationalities. Mark Logic follows the SQL 92 standard. Queries that use joins and aggregate functions are supported, but changes to the data, such as inserts, updates, or deletes, are not. MarkLogic's Optic API would be an excellent way to query this data and also include document content not exposed by TDE templates. But SQL queries are a good use of existing skills to perform occasional searches and data analyses. Clicking the Run button executes the query and the desired column and row data is returned. MarkLogic can search by combining various queries that support what you need to find. Search can be arbitrarily complex, including full text, geospatial, metadata, and bitemporal queries, separately or combined together. In this example, we are combining a SQL query with a search over the document that a row comes from to find the names and positions of players but only if the player documents have a JSON property of nationality with the value of Hungary. The MarkLogic JavaScript query returns the data as JSON arrays. MarkLogic can find data quickly by combining complicated query scenarios together into one search. Template values are usually results of path expressions to XML element or JSON properties in documents. Template values could also be projected from results returned from xQuery functions, predicates, arithmetic, date, and other types of xQuery functions. This example concatenates a patient's first and last name 
into a name column. Setting a template's enabled element value to false disables the template from processing. When the template is enabled or disabled, re-indexing should start automatically. Once templates have been disabled and re-indexing has finished, the templates are inactive. If you wish to free up disk space, the templates can be deleted, but other than disk storage, there's no need to do so. Learn more about template-driven extraction from these resources at docs.marklogic.com. The Application Developer's Guide, Template-Driven Extraction. See the section on Template View Elements to learn more about how to constrain templates to certain document collections and more about the context of a template, which defines the lookup node used for template activation and data extraction. The SQL Data Modeling Guide, Creating Template Views. The Semantics Developer's Guide, Using a Template to Identify Triples in a Document. Learn more about indexing your document data as triples and querying them from Sparkle, or combine them with many other MarkLogic search features, including MarkLogic's Optic API. In this episode, you learned what is template-driven extraction, why I have template-driven extraction, what are templates, and where are they stored. To get MarkLogic, download from developer.marklogic.com. The examples from this episode are available from MarkLogic University's GitHub repository at github.com slash marklogicuniversity. Get more training by visiting marklogic.com slash training. Also, a complete selection of on-demand topics is available at mlu.marklogic.com slash on-demand. Or, download the MarkLogic mobile app available on both the Apple App Store, and Google Play. And don't forget to show off what you've learned. Add MarkLogic as a skill on your LinkedIn profile today. Thank you for watching this MarkLogic University On Demand tutorial.